Welcome to Mix CG Arts. Today, we're exploring the basics of using the Bool tool in Blender 4.1. We'll cover everything from its core functions to modifiers, add-ons, helpful hints, troubleshooting common issues and solutions. So let's jump right in and get started. To start, make sure you have two objects ready, the main object you want to work on and another object to perform the Boolean operation on the first one. Since we already have the cube as our first object, let's proceed by pressing Shift A to add a cylinder, which we'll use to perform the Boolean operation. Let's choose the Move tool, to move the object. Now, let's make the cylinder a bit smaller to fit inside the cube. To do this, press S to scale the cube. Then, move it along the x-axis a bit to position it slightly outside of the cube. Let's rotate it by pressing R, then Y, and finally 90, to rotate along the y-axis by 90 degrees. Now it's time to add a Boolean modifier. First, select the object you want to perform the Boolean operation on. Next, in the Modifier's Properties panel, click on the Add Modifier button, then type Boolean in the search bar. Finally, click on Boolean to add the Boolean modifier. Before delving into the details of the Boolean modifier, let's cover its three main functions. Difference, Union, and Intersect. Since Difference is the default, let's use it for our first example. Now, it's time for the magic to happen. We'll use the cylinder to cut a hole inside the cube using the Boolean modifier. To do this, find the eyedropper tool in the object options within the modifiers panel. Let's select the eyedropper tool and use it to pick the cylinder object. As you can see, the cylinder has been added to the modifiers panel uh, under the object options, but there hasn't been any change on the cube itself. To see what happens here, you can either hide the cylinder or go to the object properties panel and select the wire option in the display as within the viewport display panel. But as you can see, it's a bit tedious to add a modifier to the object, then pick the second object using the eyedropper tool, and finally make the cutter object display as a wireframe. Thankfully, Blender has a better solution for this. For this, first go to the edit menu and then select preferences. Now in the add-ons tab, search for bool tool and then enable it by checking the box. Now that we've enabled the bool tool, it's time to dive into the magic. Press N to open the side menu bar, then navigate to the edit menu and click on the Bool Tool drop-down menu. Here, you'll find four Boolean options, which we'll cover one by one. Now, for the Boolean operation, let's first select the object we want to use to perform the Boolean operation within the other object, which in our case is the cylinder. Then, while holding down the Shift key, select the main object onto which we want to apply the Boolean operation, which is the cube. At this stage, you can either click on the Difference button or use the shortcut key, which is Control Numpad Minus. Now, we have successfully applied the Boolean operation. However, you may have noticed that I used the Brush Boolean instead of the Auto Boolean button. The Brush Boolean is a non-destructive method, meaning it adds the Boolean modifier in the Modifiers panel when applied. On the other hand, the Auto Boolean option is destructive because it automatically applies the Boolean modifier. Feel free to use the method that suits your preference. With the non-destructive method, you can easily move the cutter object to adjust the Boolean operation. Now at this point, we can add a bevel modifier to the cube. Let's adjust the settings of the bevel tool. As you can see, when we enabled the Harden Normals option, the cube has automatically been shaded as smooth. However, you may notice that the hole created by the Boolean operation has not been shaded smoothly. To fix this, we need to manually shade it by selecting the cutter object, right-clicking and selecting Shade Smooth. Now we're going to use the Union Boolean operation. For this, we've added a cube and a UV sphere. Let's start by selecting the UV sphere first, then the cube. Now in the side menu bar, let's press the Union button, the Union Boolean operation has been applied to the object, and the shortcut key is Control Numpad Plus. Now, let's add the bevel modifier. To do this, select the cube, then navigate to the Modifiers panel, and click on Add Modifier. Next, search for Bevel and select it. Let's increase the segments in the Bevel Modifier panel. Three segments are enough, and let's also increase the amount. As you can see, the cube has these artifacts on the beveled edges. Let's fix them by scaling down the UV sphere. Let's adjust the UV sphere by scaling and moving it to see the proper influence of beveled edges. 
In the shading menu, check the Harden Normals option to fix the shading of the cube. Let's shade the UV sphere smooth. Next up is the intersect Boolean operation. Let's first select the capsule object, then hold down Shift and select the cube. Now press the intersect button to apply the intersect Boolean operation. The shortcut key for this operation is Shift Control Numpad Asterisk. Let's add the bevel modifier to the shape created by the intersect Boolean operation. Let's enable Harden Normals, set the segments to three, and adjust the amount value of the bevel modifier um, as you can see, after applying the shade smooth, it didn't change anything. To fix the shading issue, we need to add a weighted normals modifier. Now the last Boolean tool we'll cover is Slice. Select the small cube that we want to use as the cutter, then hold down Shift and select the large cube. Now click on the Slice button in the drop-down menu. The shortcut key for this operation is Shift Control Numpad Slash. As you can see, the Boolean modifier has only three options, difference, union, and intersect. So how does Blender perform the slice Boolean operation with the Bool tool? Here's the answer. If we select the main cube, you can see it's using the difference operation on the Boolean modifier. However, if you select the cutter part of the cube, you can see it's using the intersect operation on the Boolean modifier. This means it's using both the difference and intersect operations of the Boolean modifier, and it's also creating a new mesh by itself. And all of this is possible with just one click of the Bool tool add-on. Let's add a bevel modifier. Let's increase the segments to three, adjust the amount, and enable hardened normals. You can see these stretched artifacts in the corners of the beveled edges. To fix these beveled artifacts, we need to change the miter outer option in the bevel modifier. Let's change it to arc. Let's copy this modifier to the sliced mesh. Let's adjust the amount value of the bevel to make the edges thinner. Um, as you can see, the Boolean operation is non-destructive. Here's an example where I've combined all Boolean operations of Bool tools like Difference, Union, Intersect, and Slice with the Bevel modifier. And as you can see here, our mesh is non-destructive.